Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you how I record a video tutorial with the free program Cam Studio. Okay, so um, what I do first is I go through a few of the settings um, to make sure they're right before I start recording. So just say we've started with this here. Um, the first thing I want to do is make sure that says record to AVI. So if I press that, it changes, okay? So I want to make sure it says record to AVI. Okay, so the next thing I do is go through the menu to see what I need to set. Okay, so we don't need that one there, we'll go to the next one. Now this is an important one, I need to um, change the region settings. Okay, so um, at the moment I've got it on fixed region. Now. If you put it on full screen, it's no good, okay, because you're doing the whole screen. Um, and when you put it on YouTube, it turns out that you can't see anything at all. Okay, so we'll go for this fixed region. Okay, now you can specify um, what width and height you like, but I put this in just to suit um, YouTube. So it's 320 by 240. Okay. Now I'll let you have a good look at those settings there. Okay, and then just press OK. Now this is the size that you're viewing now. Um, okay, so we've finished with that menu. We don't need anything else. Now we go to the next one, Options. Okay, now the most important ones here are the video and the audio. So we'll start with the video. Okay. Now, um, I've got DivX um, codec chosen here, so what we do is this is how we choose it. Now, I've tried the other ones, I don't like them. Um, Cam Studio lossless codec's okay, but DivX, um, it just, it's fantastic, I love it. Okay, so let's choose that. Now, I'm not going to change any of the settings because um, it's fine the way it is. Now here, I have changed a few of the settings here. Okay, so I'm not sure whether I've changed this one, um, the quality. I've put it on 70. Now the thing is, we used to have to make small movies for YouTube because it used to be um, a limit of 10 megabyte that you could put up there or 10 minutes and now um, it's gone up to one gig okay so now I'm uploading huge movies and video tutorials on there and um, it's great okay now I definitely changed this one here because when I started I think it had 50 in there so I've changed it to 30 set key frames every 30 frames okay now this is I'm trying to change this so I get the um, audio matching the video as much as I can okay uh, this one here capture frames every 50 milliseconds and playback rate 20 frames per second okay and down the bottom here I haven't changed anything okay right so now we're just going to press OK and that was the video options Okay, we'll go back to the options menu. Now, you can do cursor options if you like. Um, I'm not going to go there. That's something to play around with yourself. Now, if you want to record audio, you must have this ticked here. So it's simply just selecting it and that makes the tick. Okay, now we go down to audio options. And I'm recording from a microphone. So we're going to go in here. Okay, so this is the audio options. Now, um, here's a drop down menu here, and this is where you choose your actual audio capture device. Now, as you can see, I've got a few there. Um, so, if you're not um, sure which one to choose, um, what I think you should do is try it out, um, do a little sample video, and see if the audio works. If it doesn't, then go back and change it. All right? Um, now down further it's got choose compressed format now at the moment I've got PCM okay now if I press on here I can change which one I want 
Now, I used to have a uh, lame MP3 encoder because it used to um, compress to a smaller file, which was good. But now you don't have to worry about that because uh, the video um, file can be a lot larger now going to YouTube. So I've just chose PCM, uh, 22 kilohertz, 16 bit stereo. Okay, so if you like this sound, just try that out. Okay. Um, everything else pretty much stays the same okay and then press OK right now what else have we got in this menu um, we did audio options okay this is another one I've got here now enable auto pan now if you tick that box what happens is um, the actual video um, records wherever you go okay wherever I move around that's where it's going to record okay now the speed of it is here so what we'll do is we'll press on this and check out the speed now I've just got it on 29 um, because it's like a video camera and if you speed it up um, it's just it's no good because people don't like um, video tutorials that flip around everywhere they, they're trying to learn something and it needs to be slow okay so around there somewhere is fine and press OK okay what else have we got um, okay program options and then another menu comes up um, minimize program on start recording now I don't do that because it's just a small little box like this okay when you're recording that's all it is you can just hide that up in the corner somewhere and still go along with your business okay now where was I here um, hide the flashing rectangle when recording uh, no I like to see the flashing rectangle so I know what area is being recorded okay um, now name the AVI file ask for a file name of course because I don't want them to automatically um, name it because then I won't remember what it is okay so let's go back up to this options menu and have another look now if I skip past something it means it's not important to making uh, this video okay um, see I haven't um, chosen anything in there this is just uh, um, on default as well okay so let's go down to the keyboard shortcuts because I did change stuff in there okay so what I did is what I do sorry is I definitely sometimes want to pause it so pause is very important to me um, because I might forget what I'm doing or forget what I'm going to say or I need to plan something so I need to be able to pause it so what I've done is I've made it the ALT key and the space bar which is right next to each other on my keyboard okay the rest of the stuff I just filled in with all different things otherwise it has an error so I've put use the end end but use different things like ALT and shift and then over here I've just put all of them on there and then end and then I've gone to the enter key and used that now the reason it's pretty important that you don't put anything that's common in there because um, one day I just had um, none of these boxes ticked and it was just the space bar and what happened is every time I tried to write something and you press a space in between it it paused the video okay so you've got to be careful <laughs> um yeah it took me a while to work out what was going on as well so anyway at least you won't have that problem okay so press okay um okay that's about it